everybody, welcome back. This is Jordan with PictureMonk.com, and I wanted to make a quick little video on uh, about presets that are currently being sold at uh, PictureMonk.com slash shop, and you can pick those up with the uh, link down in the description. And basically what these presets contain are landscape presets, uh, portrait and wedding presets, film and lighting presets, modern presets, and it's just like a basic section of presets, and there's 81 of them total. And so in this video, I wanted to run through them real quick to show you what they can do, what, what kind of uh, effects that you can apply to these, and also how to correct some of them if you apply it to a photo and you really want to use that preset, but it you know it doesn't quite look exactly what you like you thought. So I wanted to run by those and just show you how to do that. So again, you can go to picturemonk.com slash shop, and there you can find the presets. You can purchase them there. So let's go and get into it. I'll show you how to work these. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom. Uh, as you can tell on the left side, we have the Picture Monk presets volume one installed, and they're all in they're all in their own little individual categories. And if you would like to figure out how to do that, uh, you can head to uh, the video here, and it'll show you how to install these and keep them organized. And that's really cool. I, I really really recommend that, so you know exactly where they are. And you don't have a bunch of them scattered all over the place or all in one folder and that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and get started. I have these 10 photos down here at the bottom, and these are just normal photos taken from regular people. And so we're just going to apply some cool effects to them. And just to let you know that these are all JPEGs, so uh, I don't have the raw files for these. And But this does show that you know the kind of effects that you can get from a JPEG. So imagine what you can get from a raw file. So that how cool is that? So um, All right, so we have this first photo here. And if you've ever seen the Batman poster, uh, I believe it's the uh, Dark Knight Rises poster. It's the... The one where they're taking a photo of the uh, the Im the the buildings, uh, shooting up into the buildings, and it kind of made the Batman logo and that kind of thing. Well, I wanted to kind of mimic that in my uh, film and lighting presets. So if I'm going to click uh, the film and lighting presets, and I'm going to go to the one named Gotham, and that's going to represent the Batman poster. So this is kind of the same feel that they had. Obviously, it doesn't have the logo in there and all that kind of stuff. But it's the really dark, grungy photo. It's kind of got a blue tint to it, that sort of thing. So that's that's kind of a cool effect that you can do here. So uh, the next photo is, uh, is a really cool one that I found. And uh, so I kind of wanted to give it like a... Uh, I don't know if I wanted to give it like a rustic tone or something like that, but you know I wanted to give it a little more punch. So in this one, I'm going to go to my modern presets, which my modern presets I think are my my favorite ones out of all of them. And we got a bunch of them here, and I'm going to apply the one called Deary Gold. And you can see what kind of effect it did. That it kind of sharpened up the mid tones a little bit, brought out some definition in the sky. Um, you know, gave it a really uh, faded yellow color. So that's kind of cool. The next one is uh, it's going to be kind of like a, a HDR one. If you, if if you ever want to do it like a one click HDR, this is the one for you. So uh, this is a kind of a cool old car and, and an HDR effect. Uh, not a true HDR, obviously, but and the HDR effect will really work on this one just because of all the textures in here. So I'm going to go into actually the landscape one, and I'm going to click black and white high contrast HDR. And you can see what kind of effect it gave that. And, and if you look at the before and after, um, we had definition in the clouds, but I really brought it out with this preset here. And, uh, you know, you can definitely get a high dynamic range with all these. Got a small little vignette going, and uh, I think it really works out for this one. All right, the next one, I kind of wanted to make it look sort of... Uh, sort of westerny I guess and uh, so you have all these beautiful horses here you got the mountain range in the back um, so for this one I'm going to uh, go back to the modern presets and I'm gonna click bark and you can see how kind of a it's it's like a sepia tone but it's it's a it's a little more enhanced of a sepia tone it's not your regular just you know yellow photo it's kind of a more brownish but you still have a lot of definition in the clouds and the and the animals and and the shadows are toned down a little bit so it's kind of a faded a little bit and i really like the way that looks all right the next one is like a landscape just like a regular landscape a true landscape and this was kind of a cool one of a lighthouse that i found so I wanted to make it more of a, uh, let's say, a, a warmer feel, um, just to just to kind of bring out the mood and the clouds and the and the and the the rocks down here. So uh, I'm saying all this that it you know it applies to this photo, but it really applies to a lot of them. So if you if you have a, a regular landscape, it's going to look great. So in this one, I'm going to uh, go to my landscapes here again, and then I'm going to go to warm colors. 
and you can see what that did. It kind of kind of uh, muted some of the blues and brought out some of the the uh, yellows and textures and stuff like that. So that I think that looks really great. Um, the first one wasn't that bad, but this one is definitely something that I wouldn't wouldn't mind hanging up. Um, so let's go to the next one here. This one's a portrait. And it's kind of your basic wedding portrait. You know, you got your bride in a dress. Uh, but you want to make it kind of a more punchy photo. So uh, I'm going to go to my portrait category and go to one called Cora. And it kind of uh, gives it more of a blue tone here. And it looks looks pretty cool by itself. But I want to add uh, a, a basic preset. And it's a, it's a, a mimic of a tilt shift effect. So I'm going to go down here to my basics. And I'm, I'm actually applying this one in conjunction with the Cora preset. So I'm going to hit instant, uh, instant Tilt Shift. And you can see how it kind of faded and just kind of made the focus just on her. So that's pretty cool. I like the way that turned out. All right, the next one is another landscape. And this one is kind of a, kind of a tribute to one of the all-time great photographers out there, all-time great landscape photographers. So I'm going to go to the landscape one, and I'm going to click the one that says Adams. And so it kind of, kind of mimics Ansel Adams' uh, you know, style a little bit. Obviously, I can't do exactly what he did, but you know, it kind of gives that that cool feel of a nice black and white. That's, um, you know, you still have shadows and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I really like the way that one turned out. All right, the next one is a another portrait that I uh, I, I really kind of wanted to to kind of accomplish a lens flare effect, and I'm actually going to show two of these. And this one is uh, going to be in the modern presets as well or it's going to be uh, actually the portrait presets and it's called modern glow so I'm gonna click that and it adds this really really bright lens flare here and uh, as you can see it's not exactly where you want it but if uh, if you do apply this and you want to kind of move this lens flare around you just click on the brush here and you have this little node that you can move around and position where you want to kinda of like this kind of get it off to the side so it's still still in the frame but it's just kind of touching the subject here so we just click off of that and now we can see a before and after of how that worked this was a good photo by itself but this one kind of brought it out with the lens flare there so let's go to another portrait and this we're gonna kind of do the same thing uh, we're gonna add another lens flare over here but this one is gonna be more of a uh, uh, <laughs> I guess I would consider it like a ritzy, a ritzy lens flare. I don't even know what that means, but um, we're going to go to the film and lighting and I'm going to click luster. So you can see that puts the lens flare over here automatically, which is great, but I kind of want to move it over here. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did the previous one. I'm going to click on that and get this guy and move it over here. Kind of like that where it's like kissing the, the side of the tree and it really looks like the sun's setting right over there so and it uh you know kind of plays in with the expression of you know being like a california photo and you got a nice uh pretty girl here and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of cool i like the way it turned out so our last one is going to be one that you would you know kind of typically see for a uh, maybe an engagement shoot or something and you want to kind of give it that modern feel so uh to go along with that i put it in the modern presets and i'm gonna click amber and you can see how cool that one came. It's more of a, a purpley, like a velvet tone. And uh, you still keep the definition and, and the uh, highlights and the shadows. So uh, I really like the way that one turned out. So as you can see, you have uh, all these presets. There's plenty, plenty more. And this is just 10. Uh, plenty more that you can choose from and, and play around with and see the effects that they can give to your photos. So again, if you'd like to check those out, head on over to picturemonk.com slash shop and you can check those out there. Um, and you can also sign up for my newsletter that is brand new. And if you sign up for my newsletter, uh, I'm basically just going to be sending you a weekly a one weekly email just recapping what has happened on picturemonk.com. But if you uh, sign up for the email newsletter, uh, you'll get a 10% off code sent to you and you can uh, you can use that to uh, to purchase the Picture Monk presets with 10% off. So head on over to picturemonk.com slash shop, check those out, and also be sure to sign up for the Picture Monk newsletter. Uh, that's it, guys. I appreciate you joining me, and I will see you guys in the next video.